So my name is Michelle Mariba. I graduated in 2009 from Richard the Gap, and I'm from Peabody. I'm Courtney Carrick. I'm from Salem, born and raised, and I graduated from Bridging the Gap in 2011. Yeah, what, what's great about the Bridging the Gap program is it helps uh, reinforce our core values of communication, cooperation, and trust. Um, there's a need students get to practice and get to use them not only in the elective period with Bridging the Gap, but in the community um, as a whole here at Collins. My name is Matt Condon. I'm the principal at Collins Middle School here in Salem, Massachusetts. The first time I heard about the uh, Bridging the Gap program was uh, our former principal, Mr. Burns, um, found a need. We have a elective block where students get to choose anything from yoga, karate, to, um, to poetry. What he wanted in that time was a time to meet the needs of all our students and he found a partner. And with that, they selected through uh, counselors, our City Connects 1A and Mr. Burns and teachers, got a nice group of kids to come together to work on um, things for their growth. We really have a success around the area of trust and building trust with adults and how middle school kids make mistakes and it's okay, right? We're learning, it's a social along with our academic mistakes, but building that trust, owning mistakes and kind of having that life skill going forward. So I would say the, the ownership of and the ownership of responsibility and trust within the community. My Bridging the Gap story started in the courtroom. I would definitely say I heard about the program and I took the first leap on it, I was like, I don't have to see a judge? For sure, I'm jumping on that program. What's it about? And how does your Bridging the Gap story begin? In the classroom or in the courtroom? Um, I would start more in the courtroom, and then it transferred into the classroom, and then when it transferred into the classroom, Katina was the best. I was always compared to my sister. It was always, your sister's getting A's and B's, why can't you do that? It's not that hard. Your sister's doing sports and this and that. I remember talking to Katina and telling her all this when we were talking about family, and she said, Yes, your sister is your sister, but you are Courtney. You are Courtney, and you are important. You are special too. Do not compare yourself to her because you are your own person. Nobody had ever told me that before. Katina always had everyone's best interest at heart. Not that your parents don't but Katina showed you it in a different light. She wouldn't say, no, no this, no that. She would let you reflect. She wouldn't just lecture you like I thought coming into the program. It was, okay, so why do you think that? And we do like different activities that you would be thinking about afterwards. You'd leave the program that night going, wow, did I really just learn that? Like, that is so different from what I was thinking going in. Even just one day, one subject, it just, it left me wanting to come back, believe it or not. <laughs> what are you doing today with the skills that you learned in Bridging the Gap? So right now I'm in the healthcare studies at Salem State. And the Bridging the Gap director, can you tell me a little bit about her? What can I say about her? What, can I, what can't I say about her? She. Um, She's inspiring, she's wonderful, she's always there just to listen, um, to give a hand. Katina, Jesus. She's everything. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome.